Even though the rain's gone, the floodwaters are still causing trouble for local drivers. The Pinpoint News Tracker is showing you a couple of roads that are still close to drivers in Cranston, including Perkins Avenue, where Sean Daly was just live, as well as Wellington Avenue. And the East Avenue Bridge, which runs over the Patuxent River on the Warwick West Warwick Line, also remains closed to traffic tonight. And here in West Warwick, several cars are beginning to dry out after getting submerged in yesterday's floodwaters, and their owners can only wait to see how much damage was done. Our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues live from West Warwick now with Eyewitness News reporter Neka Nuosi. Well, Astor Street at River Street here in West Warwick was one of the areas that got a lot of flooding and left about a dozen cars at an auto body shop underwater. The intersection of Astor and River Street in West Warwick looks like a river, but there are no boats. Instead, cars sit parked in the water. One of the cars belongs to Steve Marcella. I'm Think scared to heck. <laughs> Marcella dropped his car off at Village Collision this past weekend and was supposed to pick it up on Monday. But that's when heavy rains flooded the street and the body shop. Marcella says his car is inside the garage, which was also flooded, but they just don't know how much water is in there or what kind of damage was done. A lot of things can happen when water can get, especially in sports car, because the water can get in the exhaust pipes and electrical and all that good stuff. That's the disaster that happened, and I'm not alone. Crews on scene say the water is contaminated with oil and they're urging car owners to wait until the water subsides before checking out the damage. Until then, owners will have to sit and wait. Marcella says the best thing he can do is remind himself that though things look bad, it could have been much worse. At least I know it wasn't a total dunk. <laughs> At least it stopped raining, didn't it? And while Marcella waits to see his car, many families spent the day waiting to get back inside their homes. We'll have their stories new at 6. For now, we're live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom here in West Warwick. I'm Nick Onwosu, Eyewitness News. Even though